Hello friends, I am Dr. Mohit Agarwal. I am the head of the medical oncology unit at Fortis Hospital, Shalimabag. And today uh, we are going, going to talk about lymphoma. Lymphoma, as the name tells, is a malignancy dealing with the immune system, the lymphatic system, the lymphocytes. A very, very treatable malignancy and a potentially curable malignancy. So, what we need to understand about lymphoma is that lymphoma first of all can affect any age group. The age group, uh, the incidence increases with the increasing age. However, there are some subtypes which have a bimodal age of distribution. So in the crux, it can affect any age group. The most important point where we need to see the symptoms and which are the red flag signs where we need to consult the doctor would be any swelling anywhere in the body, like in the armpits, in the neck, in the inguinal region, any swelling in the body which seems to be a sort of lymph node should be a signal that it needs to be evaluated. Further on, the patient might suffer from anorexia, that is decreased appetite, weight loss, fever, night sweats. And depending upon the parts to which the disease has spread, it might be involving a lung, so breathlessness, it might be involving abdomen, so constipation. So if any of you or your friends is suffering from such a disorder, you need to consult your local doctor and uh, the doctor would then advise you to undergo a biopsy. Now, there's a myth that people feel that once you poke a tumor, it is going to spread fast. But many studies have shown that this is just a myth and biopsy is mandatory to establish a diagnosis of a lymphoma because rarely you can have some benign diseases as well. Secondly, subsequent to the biopsy and on proving that there is a disease, a lymphoma, you might require a scan of the entire body, preferably a PET scan, or if not PET scan available, then a CT scan of the body. And the doctor might even ask you to undergo a bone marrow aspiration and biopsy test for a staging. Now we need to understand a few things over here, and that is that lymphoma is not one disease. It is a spectrum of disease. So you might have a very indolent disorder or a very aggressive subtype. This would be clarified on the biopsy and subsequent upon this clarification, your, the further treatment plan would be decided. So once the diagnosis is established and uh, the, uh, the treatment needs to be given, then a chemotherapy is usually given in such cases. There are some indolent form of lymphomas which might be just treated by observation and under close follow-up. However, if there is an indication for the treatment, then some form of chemotherapy is given. Now, people feel that with chemotherapy, they'll be bedridden and they'll be not be able to do their normal work. But this is again a myth. With chemotherapy being given these days, a patient can resume the office work from next day. He is not under, he or she is not under any house arrest. There might be some signs of weakness, but the normal activities can be easily resumed. One of the side effects is alopecia, which people are really wary about, but all the hairs return back after the completion of chemotherapy. We are into the era of new agents, which are targeted drugs, which basically identify the target on the cancer cell and destroys them. So we have targeted therapy for these lymphomas, for different various types of different lymphomas. Some are even in the form of oral pills. And these additionally boost our treatment management and leads to more meaningful progression-free survival and cure. An important point to be noted over here is again, that even if the disease has entirely spread into the body, still lymphoma can potentially again be curable. And even if the lymphoma has a recurrence, then there are further treatment modalities of a potential cure. So the crux of the matter is that you should not leave the lymphoma aside. A, a medical consultation is a must and with appropriate treatment, a cure is possible. Thank you.